Okay, rapid fire questions. Are you ready? Yep. All right. First question What do the words growth orchestration mean to you? It's about all of these little, big, medium pieces all dancing together to make one tune. So it's about all the components that basically form the magic of uh, the online world. Mm, interesting. Uh, next question What Three pieces of advice would you give uh, a friend of yours with a similar company in a similar position, um, but who has yet to get online uh, and, and step into the growth arena? Have an open mind. Okay. This is a new world. Yep. You don't know what's, what's coming, so find the right team and partner and believe and trust. I would say get used to the idea that things change rapidly. Mm. And what you think might work, might not be what really works. So be ready to accept that other things might be true than what you really knew. Okay. And thirdly, um, I would say speed. Mm. Think that speed is important and understand that things are not going to be perfect, but moving forward is more important. W what things should be true inside of your company before you get started on the growth journey? I think the product is essential, okay. at least uh, seeing that from our perspective. Uh, you have to have a product that has been tested, that has the right quality, and that is ready to go out there into mm -hmm. the world. Um, I'd say have a good website, an okay. e-commerce site um, that works, that works for the purpose yep. it, it was intended to, to be. And thirdly, I'd say you might not have the right team, but you got to have the team that is willing to try. Mm. So there's going to be a lot of newness, at least in our case, there were so many new things we had to do that we never, never done before. But we somehow managed to find the strength within the profiles we already had. Yeah. So inspire your team because yes. they can learn and they could be great at this. Yes, yes, yes. Um, as it relates to growth, when you hear the words, don't let good be the enemy of great, what does that mean for you? It means a difficult learning process for the past 12 months. Okay. Uh, as designers and creatives, we tend to want things to be completely our way mm. or the way we feel is right. And uh, that doesn't really apply for online. Mm. Certain things are necessarily have to be in line with what your brand stands for. But there's so many other parts that are just the mechanics of how yes. the space works. Yes where you don't need to get caught up on tiny details that are completely unnecessary. Yes, okay. Um, this is a, a tough question. Um, what analogies can you think of that can describe um, the, the process of setting up a growth program and running uh, a growth program? A runway show. Mm, okay, tell me more. So in a runway show, there's just so many things that are dancing around you. Okay. There's the music that you choose in order to connect with your audience. Mm -hmm. There's the, the backdrop. Yes. There's the, the lighting. There's every single garment. There's every single model and the way they feel when they walk down mm. the runway. Wow. So there's just so much about the entire process that people don't actually understand happens mm. behind the scenes yes. and in front of the scenes yes. that um, I've always thought that when I try to think about this space, which for me used to be like this black box, okay. which is online, uh, after our journey in it for, for some time, this is the closest that I could um, compare to mm. uh, through my experience. Mm. Mm. In the last 18 months, what's been your most memorable moment? on this, this sort of growth journey, as it relates to this, this, this journey of growth? The customers. Mm. Okay, elaborate. Uh, tapping into a community of people that feel and breathe and are moved by the same things as the brand. Awesome. Because you, you sometimes put a product out there and the person that might buy it doesn't necessarily um, think like you. Mm or they might be attracted to a part of the product that isn't actually what you created it for. Mm. But 
like hitting that group of people, like finding that group of people that are so community driven, yeah. that have are devoting their lives to things they strongly believe in. Yeah. They're trying to make a change. They have this strong connection to Africa and they want to know how things are done and who makes them mm -hmm. and what's the story behind them has been incredible. That's awesome. What's been your biggest disappointment uh, since starting a growth program? I would say that there's bigger forces that you can control. Mm -hmm. And so there's dynamics playing between companies that you are, or platforms that you're actually sitting in yes. that might get in the way of you being able to communicate yes. with your customers yes. or new customers. Yes, yes, yes. And that's beyond your control. Yes. Which keeps you on your toes and makes you become more creative yes. about the ways. Because people are actually there. Yep. You just need to find the work around that's it. That's right. But uh, you can't get too comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And last question. Um, diversification of your channels. What does that mean for you? Key. Okay. Essential right now. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks, Ines. You're welcome. Thank you.